Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. So, I bet y'all wondering, girl, why do you have on full face of makeup? And to be quite honest with you, I was just playing in it, to be honest. I just thought I'd just keep it on doing my video in. So yeah. <laughs> oh, and if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and the notification bell. Notification bell is on this side, right beside the subscribe button so you don't miss when I upload a video like this and many others. So yeah, let's go ahead and get on to what today's video is about. So in today's video, what we're going to be doing is I'm trying to prep for a protective style that I'm going to be doing in the next few days. So basically, I'm going to be putting my hair in a bunch of bantu knots to stretch my hair. Um, bantu knots could be used to start the process of a heatless blowout. So that's what I'm going to be doing today, just putting a whole bunch of bantu knots in my head. And then tomorrow or whenever I decide to do my hair, I'm going to take them out and then I'm going to have a heatless blowout. That's what I'm looking for. Or a style that I could wear for the next few days. So yeah, let's go ahead and get right into that. Right now, I just have it in this little puff situation here. So let's go ahead and take that out. Only real products that I have on my hair are uh, leave-in and gel. So I use the gel on my edges and to slick my hair down a little bit. But I didn't use, other than that, I didn't use that many products. So today I'm going to, just going to be using one product only on my hair. And this is actually black owned. This is called the Harriet Cocoon. It's called the Harriet Cocoon Butter and Marula Oil. This is a curl cream and it is black owned like I said. This is actually the lady back here. This is who made the product. And I have used her co-wash, which I like a lot. I believe I used this before. Yes, I obviously used it before, but I can't remember if I liked it or not. So we're going to be using it again today to achieve this look. I'm not going to be using any gels or anything because I don't want a crunch, like a hard hold. So first thing, I'm just going to go ahead and just section off my hair. We did not see that. <laughs> We're just going to be working on this side. I'm going to start in the front just because I want you guys to see. Even though all of you out there probably already know how to do a bantu knot, I'm still going to, you know, show you just in case there's someone out there who doesn't. So I'm just lightly detangling my hair. So I got my water bottle right here. I'm just going to spritz my hair just a little bit because I don't want this to take forever to dry. And it's also going to help me detangle my hair a little bit. I'm not really going to take extremely small sections to do this, but I'm going to take more so like medium sized sections. So let's see. I'm actually going to section off the top from the bottom. So I'm really splitting it right here. It doesn't have to be perfect. If anything, the less perfect your parts are, if you're planning on doing the style to wear it, the easier it will be to get those parts out when you go to take the style down. So. I'm just going to split this in half. We're going to do two here and two here. So let me go ahead and pin this portion up. We're going to start with this bottom section here. It's going to lightly finger tingle it. I have enough water on my hair so that my hair is damp. So I'm going to start with about this much here. I will say though, this product is really moisturizing. Gonna add a little bit more. <laughs> Focusing it on the ends. Because if you all know, if you guys haven't heard this before, which I'm pretty sure you are, the ends of your hair are the oldest part of your hair. So you need to nurture those more than you would the rest of your hair. I'm gonna go with this wide two comb just to make sure it's fully detangled. Because like I said, if I do want to wear this style, I want it. I want to do it to the best of my abilities, you know? So, I feel like that's enough product. I'm going to take this section, pin it up. And we're going to work with this small section back here. So, okay. I guess you don't want to stay pinned, huh? You want to be difficult? You want to be difficult. And I'm also going to use the rubber bands just to secure my fancy nut. All right, so how I do mine is I do a two-strand twist first, just because my hair 
it's i did this when my hair was longer as well it it creates i want to say a better curl in my opinion but add some more product to the end i believe it creates a better curl to to what i like to see in a bantu knot so then once i got that twisted up then i go and i just wrap wrap it around itself when i first became natural bantu knots was literally my style like Literally, this was the only style that I used to do. Then I'm just going to take this rubber band, wrap it around, try not to get the rest of my hair caught into it. So again, I'm going to go ahead and just twist my hair. You don't want to twist too tight to the root because you're going to be wrapping your hair around yourself, around itself. So you don't want it to be too tight on your hair. I'm going to add some more product to the ends. Wrap it all the way around. Take the bobby pin. Bobby pin. Wish I had a bobby pin. Take the rubber band and just tie it around the ends. It is that simple. We got two down. Oh, I left to go. I'm gonna put on some music. Put this like in hyperlapse or something, whatever they call it. Speed it up. And I'll be back probably when I get either to the last one or close to it. So let go. So hey y'all, it is about, well it is, two days later from when I put these bantu knots in my head. And the reason why I didn't come back yesterday was because I felt them and they weren't like fully dry. So I wanted to kind of see if I could get a wearable style out of this just cause, you know, for the you know fun of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and take off my scarf. So yeah, as I'm squeezing them now, they feel a little better. They feel like they're dry on the inside. That's, that's a way that um, I normally can tell when the Bantu knots is not dry. I just normally just squeeze it. And if I feel any type of moisture, then I know that they're not dry. So I know I need to keep them in longer so that they can dry. So just a pro tip for y'all. I don't know if anybody's ever done that, but yeah. So I'm gonna start by taking off all of the rubber bands. Honestly, I'm just gonna break them. I got this organic coconut oil here that I'm going to use to put on my fingers so when I'm taking my hair down, it won't cause that much frizz. The definition is crazy.
candle is going out. Oh, Anyways, so we have reached the end of this video. I kind of did this little style I got going on now. I did my makeup. I was feeling a darker lip, so I went in with a darker lip. Let me know if you guys want to see a tutorial on this. I'll get that out for y'all. It was super duper easy. I don't do a lot with makeup. I'm not really a makeup guru, so yeah. I'm going to do, do a quick, I cannot speak. I'm going to do a quick 360 to show you guys what my hair is looking like. I kind of messed it up a little bit just because I wanted more frizz. I wanted it to be a little bigger. chair <sighs> all right so yeah guys if you did enjoy this video be sure to give me a thumbs up also hit the subscribe button the notification bell y'all know where it's at down below as well if you do enjoy the videos that i do put out because i do put out a lot of videos i put out videos every day so if that's something that you're into hey why don't you hit that subscribe button you might as well it's free f r double -E. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, I will see y'all in my next upload. Bye.